We're seeing a high level striking from Calvin Cater. The only difference is he needs to walk through fire to get into that striking range. I found this clip, which I thought was quite interesting against Lamas, which it shows you a, a snippet of how this fight could look because Lamas is going to catch Calvin Cater here, steps forward and look at Calvin Cater's response. His elbow is not low enough to stop that kick. So he gets nailed with a body shot, right? Could quite easily happen against Giga Chikadze. He might not get up if that happens against Giga Chikadze. But look what he does afterwards. So he gets caught with a kick and he immediately goes back into range. He chases him down, pushes him against the fence, closes this distance between the two of them so there aren't the options to throw the kicks that there were at a longer range. And then what I, what I, what he does next is really nice. It's a little bit what kind of what McGregor does against uh, Alvarez. Tap, tap, tap. And then he steps through his own punching range to catch him. Watch. It's like he does this kind of patty cake play. Tap, tap, tap. And then he just steps through with a long hook. So the reason he's doing this You'll, you'll see you'll see why he's doing it. It's quite obvious. He's getting Diego to reach. So Ricardo, I always call him Diego. Lamas. He's getting him to reach for the hands. He's getting him to try and pat those hands away. But look at the pace change. Calvin Case is going tap, 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 tap. Bang! Comes around the side with the hook and then straight down the pipe with the kill shot. Tap, 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 tap. And then around the side when the hands are already reaching out from Lamas. Hands are reaching, hands are reaching, reaching, bang around the side and look what that does to his chin. And this is what I'm telling you about Calvin Cater not using every single punch to try and hurt the individual. Only one of these whole, this, this whole exchange was the real punch that meant to land and that's the one that does. The, 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 the left hook almost adjusts his chin into the range so the right hand lands perfectly. Ping. I mean, what a beautiful finish that is. Full punch right to the chin. Just lovely timing, lovely setup. And you can you can see that he kind of he, he built that false sense of security for Lamas because he was kind of reaching. And then all of a sudden he extended another six or eight inches around the reach that he'd already already shown Lamas he had. And caught him clean with that power shot. Here it is. Look at Lamas reaching. And you can see this hand is chambered here. You can see that that's the priority by the way that he's holding it. You can see the tricep is flexed. He's ready. It's, it's ready to fire, that is. It's primed. The trigger's cocked. Hammer's cocked. Trigger's cocked. Bang, look at that. And then straight through with the next one. <laughs> I mean, you know, every now and then someone lands a punch and you just think to yourself, oh, look at the faces in the background here. They're going, oh, what a beautiful punch that was. What a beautiful punch. And, and going back to the body work. So if he is walking uh, Giga Chikadze down, and if he is able to start landing those shots to the head, he doesn't want to become head focused. He doesn't want to start just hunting for that big knockout shot. And that is, again, something that Calvin Cater doesn't do. He does, he does, he, he constructs his combinations very well. He also is very good at slipping off the center line and countering people. And um, against Burgos, he was digging him into the midsection with this lead, this lead uppercut hook. And, and I think investing in the liver against Giga Chikadze would be really useful because if you go back and watch the Barbosa fight, there were times when Barbosa was thundering him into the midsection and you kind of saw his posture buckle a little bit. Just because Giga Chikadze is the one that's known for body shots, it doesn't mean that Calvin Cater can't turn it around on him. He might be able to land this left hook to the body and that might fold Giga Chikadze. It might even put him in a situation where uh, um, he, you know, he, can, he can jump on him on the floor and finish with a TKO on the ground. Doesn't have to knock him out cold. He just has to put him on the floor. So watch this shot that he lands here. He's actually going to slip. Throws the right hand. I think he was actually expecting Burgos to throw a jab and he was going to throw over the jab look. But nevertheless, it, it, it worked really nicely because although he misses the overhand, the next punch on the end is that dig to the solar plexus, which is the ideal shot to follow, uh, follow from that right hand. And I think any time he can close himself into range, he's going to have to start thinking about slipping off the center line because Chikadze is going to be looking to jab cross his face off. 
So if he can start using these things, he sets it up with a jab there. Jab, cross, and bang. Right on the right on the ribs there, right on the uh, right on the belt line, right on the right in that that uh, that liver area that is going to be draining, and it could be very much something that uh, that Calvin Cater could use. Going back to Calvin Cater and his boxing skills, because this is really where he's going to win the fight. It's got to be the boxing range, being able to move and read his opponent, and being able to pick him off with those shots is going to be key. He doesn't always have to be moving forward to do it though. And what what I love about this is that he catches Burgos clean with a shot, a right hand to the chin. And as he's falling forward, he actually backs up and creates space for the kill shot. So here we are. He's going to step in. Bang. Big shot to the side of the head. Burgos stumbles, his legs go, and he's falling. I'm not sure why it's doing this jumping. But watch this uppercut. That's lovely, isn't it? But the thing that's best about it is the jog back, and the finish is nice as well. He uses the uppercut again. Look at this jog back that he uses. So this is this is the point where he's landed the shot, and you can see Burgos is now his weight is falling forward. You can see that that if Calvin stays here, he's going to end up catching Burgos, or Burgos is going to end up on on the on his legs, and then he might be defending a takedown. And he steps back. You see Burgos reaching for him. Losing his balance, plants his front foot, drops his head. And Calvin Cater plants that back foot and fires that uppercut straight up that center line. I mean, the, the, the punch against Lamas was beautiful, but this is also a work of art. Plants the back foot, look. Bang. That's his lightning rod. <laughs> right up the center line. Catches him clean. And fair play to Burgos, who manages to catch himself before he actually hits the floor. And then he's chased down, drops his head again, straight onto the same uppercut. And that is game over.